Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel of Things and Nice One and Lit, and I am your queen of consistency, Buisi Khambebe, and welcome to my channel. And if you are new to this channel and you'd like to join the family, kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, Real OG. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to yet another wholesome video, the long requested video, which is my labor and delivery experience story time and here it is i hope you guys enjoy it and please please subscribe share with your family and friends and let's grow the family let's grow the channel it's nice here kum nandi, kum nandi, kum nandi, kum nandi. yeah so without wasting any time let's get straight into today's story time today's video so my edd was the 26th of february 2024 my expected date of delivery my estimated date of delivery was the 26th of february 2024 yeah and should nothing should nothing had happened on that specific day my gynea my gynecologist told me that he was going to induce me yeah going to induce me he said he was not going to make me wait any longer not even a day or two or a week because my bum was very huge like very very huge at some point he was also very scared that my baby was too big to actually go out of my JJ, and he requested that he thought that i was gonna the assumption was that i was going to give birth c-section yeah great and i remember my request my wish throughout my pregnancy journey was to give birth naturally with jj without no meds nothing literally nothing 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 so it was my wish it was my request and i remember on my last doctor's appointment on my last gani's appointment he was very worried that my baby was too big and he said that anything is possible at this point. I might go for a C-section, but then he'll try his best to make sure that we deliver the baby naturally, as I request, as per my wish. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. So the twenty-sixth of Feb was on a Monday, and nothing had happened. And doctor made it very clear that should anything, should nothing happen the day before, a week before. On that specific day, I must come to the hospital. I must come to the hospital with my clothes and everything and with baby's bag as well. Right, right, cool, yeah. So the 26th of Feb came. I was super excited and I was actually very happy that I didn't give birth prior to that because I prepared myself mentally for that specific day. I didn't want to give birth after that day or before the day. I wanted it to be that day or maybe like a day later and that's that, yeah so monday came it was in the morning it was in the morning i woke up very excited for baby's delivery like it was actually like a, prior to that the weekend it was very 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 wholesome it was a very wholesome weekend like we're getting we're doing the final preps for baby baby's arrival like my room was thoroughly clean baby was going to sleep with me so her, the room was spring cleaned and everything was looking cute and girly to welcome the little miss yeah and yeah so the 26th of feb monday woke up at four o'clock in the morning with my aunt we got ready i bathed i everything was packed the day before i took i just took snacks and the food that i was going to take during my stay in hospital right right cool and then we left the house at half past five because i was told to be at the hospital at six o'clock in the morning why so early i don't know but then i was told to be at the hospital at six o'clock in the morning right cool cool so so we left the house before we left the house we prayed as a family we prayed for a safe delivery and a healthy baby that's all we wanted a safe delivery and a healthy baby and praise god it happened so we prayed for that and yeah we left the house i left my family the rest of my family members at home it was a little bit sad it was like you're living as an individual but then when you come back you're gonna come back as a mom to somebody it was something very exciting we bring a new life to the family and everyone was really excited for that i was also excited for them because it has been it's been an it's been forever since we had a little baby inside the house so we got to the hospital went to admission and we were told to go to the emergency reception yeah we got to that side and then 
it was a very cold morning so we were there for like quite a while and we only got admitted an hour later so oh before i got fully admitted my gynae i met him with my gynae at the maternity ward reception i made with him and then he just gave me like a picture he gave me an overall picture of how the procedure of inducing labor works so it was just a mini description and maybe brief of how it happens and then he wrote a small line of paper to me to show me like how it's going to work how the baby's heartbeat should beat and how my contraction should go and flow all those things yeah sharp sharp cool and to me that once i'm fully admitted he'll come to my ward and check up on me and baby to see how we're doing before we start the whole process around eight o'clock i slept i fell asleep because nothing was happening i slept until around about 10 o'clock in the morning i slept still nothing was happening i was just there and at some point i got bored i was like are we gonna start anytime soon because i was very 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 ready to deliver this baby because i was so tired at this point at that point i was very very exhausted because i carried full term 40 weeks straight so you can imagine and i was super super exhausted i'm a small baby myself and i was carrying this huge belly you know, this huge bum it was very heavy so i couldn't wait for it i couldn't wait to pop and meet my little princess so around 10 o'clock i woke up and then the nurses attended me and uh, they were asking am i there for an, an induction how far am i and so forth and then i gave them all the details and yeah and then i was transferred to another ward whereby i married another lady she was also there for an induction which was very exciting which was very exciting because it meant that we were going to go through the whole thing together and i was actually super hungry because they took forever to give us food <laughs> what i was super duper duper hungry i left the house without eating it also i was very hungry they took forever to give us food and i was like you know what and also like hospital food is the worst that it's already new so i went actually with some cash and also my bank card as well and i had asked my family when they come to visit me to also bring me food so in the meantime i said let me just order downstairs and i was told that i cannot leave because i'm in a critical condition there's a restaurant downstairs yeah so i ordered food that side yeah great good i had the food and then i slept for another for another hour and then finally my doctor arrived i was happy and was like it is time it is time it is time it is time baby girl it is time to deliver your baby. no it's time to start the labor process and deliver your baby how do you feel how are you are you excited are you nervous are you scared tell me what's on your mind tell me what is going on how are you feeling and all those things I was like doc i am exhausted i don't want to lie to you baby girl is very exhausted like i cannot wait for this whole thing to end and for me to have my baby and go back home with my baby girl yeah and i'm just hoping for a safe delivery and a healthy baby and while we add that i want it naturally i am still on that i want to deliver naturally i want to be that girl and i believe that my body can do it i believe so i believe so i believe so and guys i watched so so many 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 videos of how to deliver naturally how to control labor contractions you see i was fully 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 prepared i prepared myself mentally psychologically emotionally physically for a naturally for a natural labor. like that is what i did and i was like i'm going to, by fire by force i'm gonna do it and i also read i also heard that Guyanese have this tendency of pushing for c-sections however it, i'm well within my right to demand natural natural labor until unless there are hectic not just minor complications but like hectic complications that is when i can give and be like okay it's fine you can go for a c-section right cool yeah but the whole time i was team natural labor and that's that yeah so 
the doctor was like i'm going to use my gyne came and was like i'm going to use this it was a gel liquid it was a gel yeah very uncomfortable so he's like i'm going to be gonna put it inside your vjj so that we're gonna start the labor process and after six hours we're gonna come again and monitor you and see how far are you and have you dilated all those things all those labor things yeah cook right so but then he didn't do it himself he just told me that's what's going to happen and then the nurse came the nurse came and she came through she indeed put her fingers or four fingers she put some liquid on those fingers obviously with like your glove and then she put some liquid gel it was very very uncomfortable inside my vjj and they put it inside yeah they put it inside and she's like you're not allowed to go to the bathroom you can only go to the bathroom after an hour for now you need to be still and we're also going to put in the ctg scan to monitor the baby's heartbeat as well as your contractions got it got it cool cool great stuff yeah and yeah that's what happened and it went in so the induction started at one o'clock in the afternoon on the 26th and six hours later they came again to check up on me the sister actually came before she knocked off before her shift ended yeah so she was like nothing is happening you're not yet dilated everything seems to be normal you are contracting beautifully so and the baby's heartbeat is also well however as far as dilating is concerned you haven't yet dilated six hours in and also the pains i wasn't feeling much pain so that was that yeah and then my family actually came in the afternoon around i think three four yeah they came and then we chilled it was nice we were having a conversation we were already like preparing for baby i wonder who she's going to look like i wonder all those things is she going to cry a lot is she going to be like a serious baby what's going to happen the kind of mom you're gonna be i mean you're gonna be a first time mom how do you feel all those things like it was very really nice in the room the room was full of so much love and support and i was also talking to my man on the phone updating him on the progress of what's happening as well as my sister was also in school yeah so i was very really, very really, very really happy that like my support system was immense it was insane and i didn't tell anyone that i was going to deliver the day excluding my immediate family the people that i live with my partner and my sister yeah as far as my friends are concerned they didn't know like they didn't know at all and i didn't want to share the news with anybody because i was like should anything go wrong and now they're gonna be criticizing me on some how's the baby doing are you done all those things blah blah blah, blah. i was like i want to tell them once the baby is here and once she is healthy so eventually my family left around 7 p.m they left and the six hours was over my guy came to check up on me like how were you feeling how was the pay and so forth and crazy stuff my neighbor my neighbor so she already started feeling some pain and she was complaining every now and then like yo i'm in pain what, 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 what. and then whenever she go to the bathroom she'd be like how are you not expressing anything are anything are you not in pain what's up you seem to be normal am i over exaggerating and stuff i'm like probably like our body doesn't react the same to this thing and hopefully my pains will eventually come and start feeling the pain but for now i'm still eyed i'm still that big girl um bagada is still standing you know yeah and yeah man i was just chilled i was relaxed no pains nothing my family and i were just laughing it out and then that was that and then eventually they had to leave and then my aunt was like should anything happen should you need anything call me and if you want me to be there when you deliver tell me do you want me to be there i was like if i feel like i cannot handle it i will call you definitely and pull through don't hesitate to come pull through and then they left and then doctors like we're gonna go for the second trial now of speeding the labor and all those things your contractions whatsoever yeah and then they went in again with the fingers oh the most uncomfortable thing ever it was so uncomfortable it was so itchy it was so painful they went inside yeah fingers 
dip inside the cervix to reach the cervix and see how dilated I am, whether it's opening and so forth, yeah. And then at the time, I was still not yet dilated. Because, yeah. And I was still pretty much chilled at that time because I wasn't, I was experiencing pain, but it wasn't that bad, yeah. I could control it, yeah. It was, yeah, it was just minor pain. I was still that. The thug in me was still hanging in there, surviving and all of that. Cool, cool, sharp, yeah. And then, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, Sana. Ish hit the fan. Ish hit the fan. 9 o'clock came. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Lord. Pain galore. After the second try of them, like, yeah, after the second try, it was insane. Like, I was in so much pain. I went from zero pain, minor pain to zero pain, to a man's intense pain. Pure pains are nothing compared to labor pain. Like, labor pain is wild, as crazy business, as mad business. It is so, so, so painful. Like, it's so painful. I cannot explain. The only way you guys can understand it is going through it. Then just me telling you guys already, like, Hashiwa, like, a homonad at all. Homotoko, homotoko. It's bad. It's intense. Yo. So, yeah. Nine o'clock came, and then the pain started intensifying, intensified call my man and be like baby i'm in so much pain but i wasn't crying i was still thinking out no epidural no pill no injection nothing because they were like should you feel any pain and you feel like you cannot handle the pain we will inject and give you something to numb the pain a little bit it won't go away fully but then it will make you a little bit better i was like i'm gonna go with this thing 100 no epidural no injection no pill nothing so i was still standing nine at nine o'clock which means i was eight hours in and i was still I'm a strong woman, just like my mother. You can be happy, just learn how to live. I'm flying high, I'm free like a bird. That was me. I was a strong woman, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I was just in pain, I was staying up, I was breathing, breathing. Child, I watched those how to handle breathing in labor, all those things. That was me. That was me the whole time. Like, I handled it like a pro. And then my doctor came again, and then they were like, I am one centimeter dilated. Kabank. Nine hours in, I'm just one centimeter dilated, and it was like, at least we're making progress. If these six hours, another six hours passes, and then nothing's happening, we're gonna go for the third trial. And after the third trial, if nothing's happening, we're gonna have to go for a C section. Look the bottom leg, dear God, I want to deliver naturally. Please, I know that I can do it. I know I trust my body, and I trust you. You've trusted my body to carry this baby for a whole nine months may you please trust my body again to go through this process and deliver this baby naturally amen that was my prayer literally and then yeah now my neighbor she was in so much pain like everything was happening so fast with her and i was still chilled at that time i was still very chilled very 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 chilled nothing 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 i was still in pain but then i was composed you know, she was wiling, screaming, oh, she knew at this point, ah, oh, all the and I was just so chilled the entire time. She was like, how? They would get the same things, and then she asked for an injection, and then she got injected, and then she's like, it's not working. She was shouting, she was screaming, all those things, yeah. 10 past 10. The roof of my house fell. 10 past 10. The roof of my house fell. Everything came blurry. Ten past ten. Yeah. Not ten, but not literally, but then ten past ten. Understand, yeah. 
I saw black. I saw flames. I was like, God, no ways. The pain. Child, the pain. Yo, 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 yo. The outline on my right side. On my right side. I feel like it's getting worse on my left. It's getting worse. I sit up straight. It's like it's getting worse and worse. I stand. It's like it's also getting worse. I'm like, what must I do now? If I stand, I'm feeling pain. If I sit, I'm feeling pain. Dear God, what am I supposed to do now? Yo. And then, mind you, I had the CTG scan on me, monitoring the baby's heartbeat and my contractions. And I was like, I can't. This is, I'm in so much pain. This thing is also making me worse. Now I was fighting with the nurses. I'm like, nurse, can I please take this thing off my stomach for at least 30 minutes? And they're like, no, we cannot do this. And you're gonna, you, we, <clears throat> they were like, we cannot take this thing off. We need to monitor the baby's heart beat and see how she's performing as well as your contractions. How are they performing as well? Yeah. So if you take this thing off, it's going to be difficult. So you're gonna have this on until you deliver. I'm like, and gag. And gag, and gag, and gag, and gag. No ways, no ways, no ways, no ways, no ways, no ways. I'm in so much pain. Nani, if I get all those things on my I'm like, no. So I literally take them off, put them on, take them on, put them off, take them on, put them off. Sometimes, and then, sometimes they catch me, like, taking them off. I'm like, I want to go to the bathroom. I'm just, I'll just go to the bathroom just to have those things off my stomach because they were also hurting me more. And the nurse is like, you see what you're doing now? The nurse, the doctor, you're going to, when he comes, he's going to think that the baby, there's something wrong with the baby, and then he's going to take you to theater without asking you any questions. So please, I know you're in so much pain. I know very well, but then calm down, breathe, breathe. Trust me, I know you're in pain. Trust me. I'm like, Sana, you can see. You don't know. You don't understand. So, yeah, I relaxed, I breathed. And then just after midnight, my neighbor was rushed to the delivery room. Girl was vomiting, girl was screaming. It was a move, it was a mess, man. Mind you, like, Saba well, Saba well, Saba well. I'm in pain, but nothing is really happening. But I was in my pain, was just progressing slowly. And I was getting frustrated at some point as well. Because after like three, four hours, also, Around two o'clock, around two, the doctor's like, You're still one centimeter dilated. Imagine, like 12 hours late, I'm just one centimeter dilated still. So I was very frustrated and I was like, I want this whole thing to end now. And I remember crying so much over the phone. I was talking to my man, I was like, Baby, I'm in so much pain. Like, I cannot handle it anymore. I cried my heart out. I cried. I was crying, real tears. I was crying. And then my knee was rushed. While she was rushed there, I was just there, like going up and down, crying, trying to sit. I couldn't sit, trying to stand. I couldn't stand. Like it was just one mess. And then I'll ring the bell so many times, like, nurse, I'm in so much pain. They're like, you're gonna be fine. What's the problem? And I'm like, I'm in pain. You're gonna be fine. I'm like, I'm in pain. Guys, you understand? Guys, it was a movie in that room and then I'll take off my CTG scans. I'm like, this thing is even more painful and I'll throw it away. And they'll be like, ma'am, you need to relax and calm down. You're going to hurt the baby. Stop doing this. I'm okay. And then I'll relax a little bit. And I start acting again, going up and down. It was a whole movie. Like, I was in so, 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 so much pain. Like, the pain was insane. A mad business. Crazy business. Yeah. And then around about three half past three ish, my neighbor came back. She was like, I am done. My baby is here. I was so happy for her. And then the pain that she was in before she left, it was now me acting, going crazy. And then she, she felt so sorry for me because, guys, look at how small I am. And I was going through so much pain. My body couldn't handle that pain. Yeah. And then at home they'd call me, how are you, how are you doing, I'm like, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, and then I'll cry, I'm in pain, sharp, yeah, and then I remember around 4 in the morning, I saw black, 
I saw black. I told that I was now three centimeters dilated. My guy he came, and then no, before that actually, before my guy he came, he came when I was told that I was still one centimeter. And then later on, the nurse came and was like, "We're gonna go for the third time." And then if nothing happens after the third time, we're going for a C-section. We're going to the theater. I'm like, Lord, Lord. And then she went in, and then she was like, "You're progressing very well now. Like you're gonna go into labor any minute from now." I'm like yeah. Sharp, sharp, cool, cool. I was now very excited. I'm like, well, at least, at least, at least, because that thing was so uncomfortable. It was very itchy inside the VJJ. It was very uncomfortable, and I was like, I don't want it inside. And every time they need to go in with their finger, and what was frustrating was the fact that my guy he would come and he'd go in with his fingers to check how dilated I am and then take it out. And then when the nurse comes, and then when the nurse comes, he she would also do the same thing and insert her fingers to check. So you can imagine the number of how many times the fingers went inside my vagina to check how dilated I was. Oh, the worst, yeah. And then I don't know about Buma Foda. Ah, she big better man, like big better, and yeah. Four half past four day. I was crying now. I was moving up and down. I was shaking. Guys, I was ringing the bell knowing that I'm like, I can't do I can't. I was causing so much curse inside my ward. Like I was pressing the bell, pressing the bell. And then different nurses would come and be like, girl, you're making so much curious. You're causing havoc. And you only, the stress that you're in right now, you're going to stress the baby. And the baby's going to be tired. So please, calm down. Whatever you do, it's going to affect the baby. So you need to calm down and relax and trust us. I'm like, no. And then at some point, I got injected. They gave me an injection. And then I remember before they gave me that injection, look at me now living in that moment. I remember when they gave me that injection, I was like, give me an hour to rest. I can't. I can't. And then they just injected. Choop. It went in. And... Boy, I screamed. I screamed. It went inside my butt. I screamed, and but it made me a little bit, but a little bit, tiny, tiny bit better. Yeah. And then, yeah, I re I didn't relax. I was still in so much pain. I was still screaming. Yo, I lost my train of thought. I had to quickly do something, but I am back now. So, around about 4 o'clock, like I said, there was no progress. I was dilating properly, and my neighbor was back. She was telling me how the neighbor went, and her baby was now in this world, and she was very happy, and I was still in pain, and I was so jealous of her. I was like, I wish it was me. But anyways... Yeah, I guess very soon now I'll have my little bundle of joy in my arms and all this pain will be over and forgotten. Yeah. So fast forward half past four around about day, I think. But half past four, half past four to five in the morning. Big bed. Like I was screaming now. I was yelling at the top of my throat. Clearly, there was a lot going on, and my man at some point he fell asleep. I was trying to call him, he's not answering. I was like, No ways, no ways, this can't be happening to me. Like, I'm in so much pain right now, and I cannot get a hold of my partner. Like, what the hell is this? It was a it was bad, 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 bad. I was down bad, yeah. I don't know what I was doing, but I felt something down there around about five, I think. After five, I felt something down there. I don't know what it was, but I was like, I feel something coming out of me. I feel something, and it felt like I was going to vomit, all those things. I pressed the bell so much, and then my nurse came, and she's like, dude, I said you must come down. Now, you took out your machine again, all those things, but she's shouting at me, and I'm like, something is coming down. Something is coming out down there, and then she checked me. And then she started yelling, emergency, emergency, emergency. We have an emergency, emergency, emergency. Delivery, what do you want? All those terms she like, and then everyone was rushing. They were rushing, rushing, rushing. And then they came quickly, and then they pushed me out. Yeah, to the delivery room. Yeah, we went there, and got there. Yo, I was, I can't, hey, 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 that was me. Yo, I'm in pain, what, 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 what? And just like, close those eyes. You better close those legs and thighs. Don't do anything. Don't do anything because you want to hurt the baby. And then my head was like, 
you don't want to hurt your baby you want to help your baby so now listen to the nurse it's going to be over soon i listened i closed my legs and i sat still on the bed just doing a bath praying 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 and i didn't even have time to lock my things in the locker because it happened so fast yeah so i left my phones just there my cash my wallet my medical aid everything i got to the delivery room and then they immediately called my doctor my guy me, and he didn't miss time shame like one thing about that guy is that a shame i love him so much dr mdunga is my doctor my guy me, and i love him so much i love my guy me. like i love 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 him he's been so kind to me to throughout my pregnancy journey and even though i made him towards the end but then he's been wherever he took over until i delivered and post delivering amazing 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 doctor like the best yeah and one thing about him he will attend to his patients yeah so anyways he arrived got there and he was told that i'm about to deliver and then I wanted to push on that bed. I was like, I can't hold him. And then the nurse is like, you're not going to deliver on this bed. You need to get onto the other bed. And then I got on the other bed. And then it had like, I think some things that support your legs. So when you sit upright, when you sit facing upwards, and then you place your legs there. And then, yeah, they started doing their things. Before you knew it, my water broke. My water broke. And then before you knew it, fully dilated time what about what about yeah and then my doctor was like we're about to push now breathe and then when i count i'm gonna count until three and then i get to three you must push right got it got it and i got it dark sharp it's like one two three he's like you're doing great you're doing well one more push let it be your best push like pause like it's your last push up and then one two three and then i just had a push it popped my bum popped before you knew it my heart my little baby was there she was crying with this little 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 cry little cry like, oh lord and that time I was so exhausted, I was tired, I was so over everything. But then the pain was all gone and forgotten. And I just saw my little baby there. She was crying, looking so, my baby was so beautiful, like for birth, literally. She was so beautiful, she was a gorgeous hand. And I remember them asking whether I want to hold her and I was like, I'm very weak, give me 10 minutes. I'm super, 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 super weak. And then they actually gave me some time off a little bit just to cool down and relax. And then my doctor was stitching me up down there. I teared a little bit. So he stitched me and it was more pain. I was like, yo dog, I'm so over this pain. More pain and he's like, this is the last pain, I promise you. And then he stitched me, stitched me, stitched me, stitched me, all of that. And then they flushed, they took out the placenta. Yeah, they took out the placenta, it's very big. Took out the placenta and then they took out the remaining clots as well. They removed them. It was also painful because they were literally like pushing them through my stomach out of my vajayjaya. Yeah. And then there was a lot of blood and then they put in the breast, the maternity pad. And then they were like, you're gonna be fine, just relax. And then after, <laughs> excuse me, and then after a while, they gave me my little baby. I cried a little bit like lord thank you thank you thank you thank you this is all mine this is all mine i was so happy she was crying a little bit and then when i held her she just kept quiet and then i was holding her in my arms in so much lord i was like thank you god thank you god for a safe delivery and yeah i was so happy so yeah and then yeah man i held my baby and then she was there in my arms beautiful beautiful moment i will cherish forever and ever and then because i was so excited i was so exhausted i was very weak and stuff they took her after like five minutes and they're like they're going to like monitor her and observe her a little bit 
and see how she's doing if everything is okay and all of that yeah so they took her and then i slept and then i remember waking up my aunt was there i was still so weak so weak i could barely talk I was this time that like yeah she's here she's here but then i cannot call my man because my phone is in the maternity ward and i was still waiting there yeah i was still waiting until around about 19 and then i was taken to the maternity ward yeah i called one of my closest friends i'm like second jalo second jalo but then before that prior to that i called my man he was still in class so i waited for him to end for his class to end but then i sent him a text that she is here our baby is here and while writing and texting that i was crying in awe in gratitude all of that i'm like god thank you thank you thank you thank you lord thank you jesus and then i also texted my sister I'm like our baby is here and then i called my friend video called her, and then like then god she answered and then i was like baby is here and then she was like you are lying and then i showed her like the background i'm in hospital and then we were also happy like so yeah man and that is how my baby girl made her way into the world we were so happy everyone was so happy and yeah man and then my aunt and my aunts came and they came with those balloons it's a girl with a cute pink teddy bear and then like where is she and then she was still busy in observation she was still busy with her she was taken to her doctor her pediatrician I was attending to her seeing if everything is okay and yeah man that's how she made her way into the world and my girl's name is baby kr Kabo, and then the other one is rachile yeah so it's kr baby kr and then how we came about the things that you were like my man and i have created this gift and it's going to be a precious gift and we built it that we created this gift which is a very beautiful one and yeah and then so Kabo meaning we've created a beautiful gift and then Riachil is the name that I came up with and then Kabo is the name that he came up with and we were fighting about which name should be the first name and we decided that Kabo I loved Kabo more than Ria and then I was like let it be Kabo and then Ray will be the second one. And then, yeah. So her name is Kabo and Gloria Achille. It's my baby's name. And we love her so much. She's such a very beautiful baby. She's very beautiful. She's very gorgeous. She's lovely. She's cute. She is a princess. She's an angel. Mommy and daddy's little girl. She's beautiful. She's so sweet. She likes laughing. Not laughing. She likes smiling a lot. She cries. She's wild at night. She's very wild at night. And it's been an exciting chapter of my life. I'm enjoying this motherhood thingy. I love being a mom to my baby. I love babying my baby. I love feeding her. I love bathing her. I love singing for her. I love talking to her. Even though sometimes I know that she cannot understand what I'm saying. But then I love loving her and being her mom. And I love the family that my man and I have created together. So we are a family of three now and it's been an amazing journey this far and I'll forever, forever, forever be grateful for it. And I'm forever grateful that I had a safe delivery with no complications. I have a healthy baby. And yeah, man, I guess we have got, we've reached the end of our pregnancy diaries. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the segment. You had fun because I honestly had fun shooting the entire content for you guys. I enjoyed my pregnancy journey and thank you so, 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 so much for the love and support. I am really grateful for you guys, for my family, for my partner, for everyone that supported me and was there for me physically, emotionally, spiritually, the prayers, the love, everything. I am grateful. And please do not forget to like, subscribe and share with your family and friends and I'll see you when baby number two makes her way into the world. Just jokes. It's just the jokes. It's just the jokes. It's just the jokes. 
Baby number one has just arrived. We're enjoying her. The family loves her. She's brought so much joy into the family. She's so peaceful. I can go on and on and on and on and on and about how about how amazing she is. She's the joy of my heart. Like she gives me so much joy and happiness and my man as well and we love her so much. We love her. One thing about my baby, she is so loved and I give her the necessary attention and love that she needs. I nurture her so well as well as my family. And I'll eternally be grateful for all of that. I'll forever be grateful. I'll forever, ever, and ever, and ever, and ever be grateful for that. And in closing, I want to say, don't be pretty, guys. It goes down at the labor and delivery board. Kubi, kubi, hachumunat. Hachumunat, like, but the end result is amazing but see you in the next video don't forget to like subscribe and share with your family and friends and this is the end of pregnancy diaries bye